So what a perfect setting to start a vlog. Yeah, <laughs> so okay, quick one here because I'm absolutely exhausted and I'm ready to go to bed, but let's tell you what's going on on this vlog. I am in France, I am fishing with my old time friends Les. Um, it, it's a, I wouldn't say last minute, but it's not something I particularly prep for. I don't know a lot about the lake, although I'm, I've had a, we've had a walk around with the bailiff. It's about six and a half acres, so in French terms, it's not a massive lake, but stunning, really, really nice. We've seen some good fish as well, so all I've done, which is pretty standard for French fishing, get yourself set up, get yourself comfy. Don't do too much work on the Saturday, because it's a long, no matter where you live in the UK, it's a long drive, so all I've done is kind of, I have seen a couple of fish, so they've got a bag, a bit of bait, that'll do for tonight, so that, that's done. Um, we've had our tea, everybody's happy. So I will show you the lake tomorrow. We'll have a we'll have a look around the lake, show you what I've got in front of me and how I'm gonna approach it. It hasn't been fishing well, but when I hear that, I always think that there's a break point where it does start to fish well. And uh, tomorrow's gonna to be quite cool actually. And it's been oh, it's 47 degrees. We went in for a walk into the town yesterday with our friends, 47 degrees, yeah. yeah. So it has been ridiculously hot. Today wasn't as bad, but tomorrow's gonna to cool off. That's a really good sign. So hopefully if it does cool off, the fish might react and uh, we maybe be able to show you one of the fish out of this venue. Right, so the rules at this lake are is that the fish must not leave the water, so everything has to be done in the lake. You know, really good fish care. And of course we're adhering to those rules. I've had three, I've had, yeah, I've had three commons, all being small fish, so we've not bothered uh, getting the camera out for those ones, but uh, this is my first proper one. At 35 pounds six. Really happy with this one. It's very early in the week. So we've got loads of opportunities to get more fish like this. So a fantastic start. I'm in France and I'm using the S7, which is what I normally do when I'm over here. And straight away, we've got into the fish. So we'll get him popped back, get the rod redone. So we're moving into night number three and uh, yeah, I've had six bites, but that, that mid-30 common that you saw me with last night, that's that's been the fish of the trip. I haven't had a bite, to, well, I, had a, I had a catfish today. Uh, other than that, I haven't had a bite, so um, as it's standing at the moment, there's only two of us fishing the lake. You know, normally there would be four anglers on this lake, so me and Les are fishing like quite socially. We're fishing these top swims up where the lodge is, but opposite me is, is one of the point swims. And then down the other side where Leslie's swim is, there's, the, there's another swim where, which is normally where would two other anglers be. So naturally we're seeing the fish push further and further. So tonight I've moved two rods, I've moved them longer. I, I, I can't get right into the bay because it's just too far, but I can certainly put pressure on the fish and get closer to them because naturally there's, there's only disturbance this side of the lake, they've, they've, they've done the off. So hopefully moving those rods, hopefully we're, we're gonna get into the fish again. So um, ro the rods are all done now, we're all ready. I've just been around and put a little bit more bait on the middle rod, which is the longest one out of the three. So um, we'll see how the night goes and see what happens. Okay, so I'll give you a little bit of a tour of my swim. Uh, what I've got in front of me and where I've been fishing so far. So my left hand rod, these reeds here, just round to the uh, left hand side of those reeds, there's a little bay in there and I'm fishing just into the mouth of that bay and uh, every day there's been fish in there. So that's my left hand rod. And I don't know whether you can see it, but there is a, it's a, a machine to deal with algae that sits in that bottom corner there. And there's a lovely gravel patch off there. So middle rod is sat off there. But if we move around into this bay, you see that swim there, that's the point swim. So that bay to the left of there, there's a lot of fish in there. So rather than attacking them, I've just kind of like trying to catch them coming in and out of that bay. Cause I think if I put a rod in there, uh, I'll see less and less in there if I'm honest because I've kind of fished see if I can zoom in on it for you there's that bay like I say if I kind of 
smash a rod into there and that's going to be quite a long chuck that's probably getting on for 28 29 wraps to get into that bay um, I think they'll push out so I've chosen not to kind of attack them just kind of put my baits on the edge of them let them behave normally and hopefully we'll pick one off and my right hand rod is actually it's in line with that point swim uh, because to the right of it there's a massive gravel plateau there and the guys are telling me don't fish on there uh, they get hammered off there but if you can find a nice spot off it which is what I did with the marker float on uh, Sunday I did that uh, and that's the spot that's done my, my big fish well my, my 35 pounder so that's what I've got in front of me and over there that's Leslie's water where Leslie's fishing so that's the state of play at the moment I don't think we're doing a lot wrong I just think we need a bit of luck and one of them biggins is going to pick us up. Right, so for my efforts last night, I resulted in a nil pois. Uh, I did stalk one yesterday. I mentioned to you that the fish were, were long, so I went down with my rods today and I did stalk a, a scraper 20 leather. But I've had two tonight. This is the bit where I had two on at once, which was a bit of a palaver, but we managed to land both fish. So this 34 pound common is the biggest of tonight's brace. So I've got a bit of work to do to get these rods back out because they are in awkward spots. I've got to make sure I've got them right because there's a bit of mush around the area I'm fishing and I don't want to land in that. So we'll get these rods redone and maybe we'll see another fish tonight. I had three bites last night, all three rods went, so I was just going to plan the day and out of the blue I've had my biggest fish of the trip in the shape of this lovely 42 pound mirror and that's my biggest one. So I'm going to probably put this rod back where it came from. Happy? So no sooner did I have that uh, lovely 42 pound mirror, the left hand rod has just gone with this common so that's given me a bit of food for thought because I didn't think there was any fish down there but there was a bit of fizzing and I put a rod on it and obviously there are fish there so we'll get that rod redone and we'll get the, the rod done that I had the 40 on and we'll maybe see another fish today. As per normal, as soon as the darkness comes, the fish start moving out again. And this is once again my biggest fish of the trip. This 46 pound mirror. So, well happy with this. Like I said, this is my biggest one of the trip so far. Immaculate condition like all these fish in this lake are. And we'll get him back for someone else to enjoy. Turn this way a little bit. Yeah, 
Yeah, mate, yeah. No worries. Super. Good. Well, it's certainly the, the hottest day that we've had on this trip. And to be honest, it's not far off the hottest I've ever had in France. It's in the mid 40s up in the lodge. Uh, I'm not sure whether this is going to cool me off, but we'll see. It's not even that cold in the water now. Right, so Big Fish Thursday has lived up to its name. We was just talking about it at the barbecue this evening. I don't think I've ever had a Big Fish Thursday. Or I've never seemed to have had one on the Thursday night, but uh, I certainly have tonight. What did I say it weighed? I can't quite 47. remember. 47. 47. So once again, we started off with them small commons and then we got into a few 30s and then the back end of the week has been very kind to me. So once again, this is my biggest of this trip. I'm well happy with this one. We'll just get let Richard the owner take some pictures of it. You ready dude? Yeah. There you go. All happy? Super. Super. Right. Oh, back she goes. It's got a good belly on it as well for this time of year, hasn't it? It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely do you think this might be one of the 50s back end, do you think? This will be a new one. Do you think? Yeah, I think the 50 at the back end, this is the new 50. I did think when I uh, took the hook out, I thought, hey, this isn't going to be far off. Awesome stuff. Right, so we are coming to the end of the week, it's Friday night and uh, yeah the rods are all out, we've had our tea, everything's good. I think, I know you shouldn't say it but I think we've figured it out, it's been really hot, earlier in the week it wasn't too bad and that's when you know we caught quite a few fish but after that it was kind of like a fish a night kind of thing and in 37 degrees during the daytime uh, a fish a night is not bad because I've fished France during August quite a few times because that's when my holidays generally are and uh, I think we've done all right, you know, I think I'm, I must be close to about a dozen fish now, I've had uh, three 40 pounders, that 47 that you saw me with last night is the biggest, so uh, I'd have taken that considering how hot it's been today, we were just all flaked out in the shade, nobody wanted to move, nobody wanted to do anything, so uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get the opportunity to show you one more fish out of this lake, and uh, while we're on the subject of the lake, if you do fancy coming and fishing here, this is called Lac Rose. If you follow it on the Facebook page, give the guys a message, and I'm sure they'll try and accommodate you. They've told me they do have some spaces for next year. Also, one interesting point that Richard, the owner's told me, he's hoping, fingers crossed, he's hoping that his big, his big mirror does 70 back end of this year, so that'll be a mega landmark for the lake. So if you fancy coming, like I said, drop the guys a message and there are some availabilities for 2021. So in the meantime, uh, I'm going to put some more mosquito repellent on because they're, they're coming out tonight. Uh, there's one there actually as we speak. So yeah, I'm going to get some mosquito repellent on and get bedded in for the night and uh, I'm kind of confident now. I think we've got a pattern of where the fish are. Certainly my, in my side, I've got a pattern of where they're coming and uh, I've set three traps that I think one of them will go at some point through the night. So hopefully we'll be able to show you one more fish before we make the drive home. 
So first fish of the night for me is this lovely 27 pound common. All the rods have been linering so I kind of expected one to go. But it's still early in the night so there's still plenty of opportunity for one of the other rods to go. This rod's going in the van now. This one won't be going back out because we're leaving in the morning but uh, there's still the other two that have the chance to do me maybe one last chance of one of them big ones, but we'll see. Right, so you saw me with that 27 common last night and I've had another common this morning and you might notice I'm in, I'm in a different swim because it was the right hand rod, it absolutely melted and it's come across the lake and I wasn't stopping it so I've had to I've had to land the fish in my pal swim to my right so we'll do this one here there it is 36 pound and what a powerful fish this was like I say it's dragged me right across to the other side of this part of the lake so there we go we'll get this one back and get ready for the road So this definitely is a wrap on this trip. This is my last fish. <laughs> uh, everything's packed down now and we are ready for the road because the next part is going to be here soon. So during this week I've been using the S7, I've been using the cork ball pop-ups and the Evolution hook baits as double 15s and all my fish have come to that method. <laughs> 